Richard, welcome back to another episode of the top running back rankings. Uh, real quick, before we get into this, I just want to kind of review how you did on week two. So uh, you got 16 of 24 running backs in the top 24. Uh, anything you want to add to those stats? Yeah, it, it was a strange week. Again, um, I want our viewers to know we're, we're talking standard league here, not points per reception. And, um, you know, you had guys like Saquon Barkley, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, Joe Mixon, Kenyon Drake, guys that are pretty much on everybody's top 15 that didn't make it this week to the top 24. So, you know, a little bit of a strange week. We had injuries. You know, Saquon Barkley didn't make the list because of injury, even though he didn't make the list last week also. So, but um, you had that. And then we, we do our stuff um, early in the week. We found out later on that Miles Sanders was, um, <clears throat> he was actually going to play. And we put him in, you know, via Twitter, via messages. We told everybody, hey, Miles Sanders is in the top 24. And then we had the issue with Connor and Blake Snell which I won't give myself the benefit of the doubt. I had, I had um, Blake, I mean, Benny Snell. I have Benny Snell on my list and, uh, and not Connor. So that's one we should have had, which we will have this week. Yeah, it's, we're always going to have that. You can't get them all right. We're shooting these videos super early. So I'm here with you. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this week, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do the top 30 running backs to give you guys a little bit of extra so that way you guys can make some decisions on who to start. Uh, so let's get started. The top 30 running backs for week three. All right, let's try to get through these a little fast here. Uh, number one, Ezekiel Elliott. Um, great offense. Great back, going to be in a shootout. Number two, Aaron Jones at New Orleans. We all saw what he did last week. It's what he did all of last year. I love Aaron Jones. Number three, Alvin Kamara, who'll be home against Green Bay. Kamara, again, no Michael Thomas in New Orleans. He's the guy they're leaning on. Number four, Derek Henry at Minnesota. Had a little bit of a, a rough week. He had... Plenty of touches, only had 80 yards, didn't get into the end zone. I think that'll change this week. I just want to add real quick that the Minnesota defense, uh, they're ranked 29th, uh, and they're pretty bad against the run at 28. So I think he's going to run all over that defense. Number five, Jonathan Taylor, who will be home against the Jets. It's a good matchup for this, for this power speed guy. So, Ryan, what do you think about Jonathan Taylor? Well, he's definitely uh, a fast running back, running at uh, a four three nine forty, and fast. he also uh, is a big back at two hundred twenty six pounds. The only thing is, I think we're waiting for that big breakout game. I don't think he's had it yet. It's got to happen sooner or later, right? It, it will. It will. I mean, it, first game, he, he you know he didn't he wasn't expected to carry the full load. He kind of did in game two. I think game three he'll be a little more comfortable. He's physically talented, and I love him. I love him. I think, I think he's going to be a, a, a great fantasy back for years to come. Uh, number six, Nick Chubb, home at Washington. It's another guy. Uh, speed and power. Um, the question is, again, Hunt. How much is Hunt going to take away? But as we saw last week, that's a team that depends on the run. Both of them were in the top 24. And, and Baker Mayfield, so they have to rely on the run. Number seven, Dalvin Cook, home against Tennessee. Um, Dalvin Cook, super talented. Number eight, uh, Kenyon Drake, who's going to be home against Detroit. Um, Kenyon Drake, as he was with the Miami Dolphins, uber talented. Um, is his value taking a hit because of, uh, <clears throat> because of Murray? What do you think, Ryan? I definitely think Lamar Jackson takes away some of those Russian TDs that might go to uh, Ingram. So, yeah, I think it's going to take it away a little bit. So if Murray has a good game, you're going to see not too many touchdowns. So, yeah, it's one of those things that can go either way. For me, it's a good matchup against Detroit, but that's why I have him eight. Um, number nine, Josh Jacobs will be at New England. Uh, New England, 
as a team has looked much better than I thought they were going to be. And um, it's going to be a tough matchup for Jacobs, even though Derek Carr looked better this week. Number 10, Miles Sanders, home against Cincinnati. Good matchup for Miles Sanders, and he looked very versatile this weekend, doing it both rushing and receiving. Um, 11, James Conner at home against Houston. I mean, for an injured back, allegedly injured back, he looked pretty good against Denver, even even getting a, a long touchdown run. James Conner, I think he's going to have a really good game this week because he's going against Houston, who's not too good against the run. And number 12, we have Chris Carson, who will be home against Dallas. Now, this is a Seattle offense that's going to be passing a lot more, but guess what? Carson's been catching some passes, believe it or not. And number 13, Clyde Edwards Alaire at Baltimore. Tough matchup, and he had he was disappointing this week. As we mentioned when we were talking about potential rookies to draft, Edwards Alaire is still a question mark, right? Um, he's going to get touches. He's in a great offense. He's not super powerful, as we've seen where he gets stuffed in the goal line. And is Kansas City going to, you know, is they, are they going to lean on him? Are they not? I mean, they didn't this past week, mainly because they were trailing. We'll see. And he's up against a tough defense this week. But because of his offense, I still have him at 13. 14, Austin Eckler, home against Carolina. Eckler did everything again, uh, caught some passes, ran. And now with that upgrade, um, Herbert over Tyrod Taylor, I think that's going to be good for Eckler. If we go back to Tyrod Taylor, I drop him a few notches. Number 15, James Robinson, home against the Dolphins. Uh, Dolphin defense hasn't looked great. And James Robinson has looked, has looked good. Through two weeks, he's, he's produced for, for uh, Jacksonville. And I, I think he's going to, because of the matchup, I have him at 15. 16, Leonard Fournette at Denver. Yes, there is a Leonard Fournette um, sighting. He actually scored two touchdowns and did well last week, and I think they're going to trust him more. He's definitely the best back on that roster. Uh, 17, Joe Mixon at Philadelphia. Here's the guy that's been a little disappointing through two weeks, um, but he has a good quarterback. Joe Mixon is talented. And here's another matchup that, you know, he's going against Philadelphia, although they're ranked ninth. They're 22 against the Rush so I think he's going to run all over them, too. Number 18, we have David Johnson at Pittsburgh. So it's a tough matchup, but I like David Johnson. So after watching him first week against Kansas City, I mean, that Houston team has had their issues. But David Johnson looks like, you know, the guy that can both run and catch the ball, looking like uh, maybe not 100% like the guy that played in Arizona. But um, I, I – I like him at 18. 19, Melvin Gordon, home against Tampa Bay. Melvin Gordon, you know, Denver's going to lean on him. He can do both things. Philip Lindsay, again, is hurt. And Gordon is a good back that can receive, catch balls out of the backfield. Uh, Driscoll's going to be your quarterback again, which it looks like he will be. He's going to have to rely on Melvin Gordon. Um, so I like him here. At 20, Kareem Hunt, home against Washington. Good matchup, and both Chubb and Kareem Hunt are going to have plenty to eat this week. What do you think about that? Can they both succeed, Ryan? Well, they did in week two, uh, although they're going against the Washington uh, defense that's uh, looking really good, especially against the run. Having both those guys in the top 30, I just don't see I, – I, I don't see that they're both going to make that list. I think it's going to be one or the other. Uh, so I think it's a stretch to put them both in the top 20. At 21, we have David Montgomery, who will be at Atlanta. He's also looked uh, decent, and, you know, he, he's going to get more comfortable uh, with more carries. And, and, again, Atlanta defense, not very good. 22, Daryl Henderson at Buffalo. He looks like he'll be the lead back for the Rams um, with everybody else um, injured. So that's a good offense. They got a tough matchup at Buffalo, but Daryl Henderson is 22. Number 23, Jarek McKinnon at the Giants. Good matchup, and guess what? You know, Mostert is hurt. Tevin Coleman is hurt. 
McKinnon is going to be the guy. He's going to carry the load. And this is a team that likes to run. Okay, and, and number 24, we have Todd Gurley, who's home against Chicago. Um, Todd Gurley, again, I mean, the question is how many, cat, how many touches is he going to get? He got plenty last week. He just, you know, didn't score, didn't, didn't do anything uh, big. And he's up against a good defense. But because he's getting the touches, we have him in the top 30. Number 25, Mark Ingram, home against Kansas City. I like Mark Ingram for the top 24 last week, and he made it. And I like him again this week because he's a big, he's strong. His issue is limited touches but, and, and the vulturing, you know, the Lamar Jackson. But I think Mark Ingram gets into the end zone. I like him in my top 30. Number 26, Mike Davis, um, who will be at the Chargers. And now he's not Christian McCaffrey, not even close. Or who is, right? But um, he is not going to be the lead back. Who, who, he caught eight passes, eight passes last week. So here's a guy that can both rush and catch passes. Um, Carolina's going to have to put up points to beat the Chargers. Um, I like Mike Davis at 26. 27, James White home against the Raiders. James White had a um, family tragedy and missed week two. Week three, he's going to come back, and Cam Newton has looked unbelievable. So for that reason, I have James White at 27. I, I, and I, I might, you know, might have ranked him higher, but he didn't play last week. Uh, number 28, DeAndre Swift um, had five receptions last week. He's, he's the guy that's going to, every week is going to get more and more, more, you know, touches and plays coming his way. Uber talented. DeAndre Swift, 28. Uh, the only problem about uh, DeAndre Swift is they got a three-headed monster there. They got Johnson, they got Peterson, and they got Swift. How, how they're going to divide that up, I think it's a huge problem. How do you see it? I, I, I agree with you, but of, of the three, the most talented back is DeAndre Swift. And because he's more involved in the passing game, that's why I'm including him in the top 30. And with DeAndre Swift, he's the kind of guy that can, can make, you know, 80-yard play happen. So because of that, because of his big playability, I like DeAndre Swift at 28. At 29, we have Devin Singletary will be home against the Rams. Um, he's starting to look more and more like the guy in Buffalo. Um, he runs well. His issue was the fumbling. And that's why Zach Moss came into the picture. But if Singletary protects the ball and gets more of a, you know, the lion's share of carries in Buffalo, he can be a very good back. Number 30, we have Joshua Kelly, who will be home against Carolina. You know, Joshua Kelly had combined, combined over 100 yards um, last week. Um, he's, you know, he's one of those guys under the radar. Um, but there's room for, for two, two backs in San Diego, apparently, and that, Eckler and Kelly. And especially if Herbert's going to be the quarterback. If, if we're going back to Tyrod Taylor, definitely Joshua Kelly's not in the top 30. So that's what we have this week. All right. Well, uh, let's hope that this list doesn't get devastated by all the injuries that's happened in week two. A uh, couple key points I want to kind of bring up here. Ezekiel Elliott's playing against the top two rushing defense in that Seattle matchup. Might be a little tough to be the number one back. James Conner, like I mentioned, he's going against the 31st uh, defense there in Houston against the rush. Uh, might be a little bit higher. Joe Mixon, 22. David Montgomery going up against Atlanta. Yeah, the defense ain't that good, but they're pretty good against the rush. Uh, let's see how that plays out. And, uh, all right, well, thanks for sharing your top 30 running backs for week three. I wish you good luck in this week's fantasy football, and uh, we'll see how you did next week. Thank you. It's my pleasure.